What's up, everybody? Welcome to another Raid Shadow Legends video. Today we have a very special video. We're going to be going over my account and looking at my real account power. Because at the moment, my account is kind of a lie. Now, as you can see, I have six empowered champions here. But since this account's beginning, I've had lots of champions I could empower. Now, what I wanted to do originally was create a champion spotlight video for a, a champion. Then empower them at the end. And I didn't want to have, like, you know, two many artificially in like flated stats like defense attack hp crit damage speed stuff like that by having like a plus three or a plus two um until after the video was over right so where my mind changed was soul cross and centranos we're going to need a lot of champions to be at their maxed out state you know as, as powerful as they can possibly be if you want to clear all the hard content and there's no sense in waiting around forever make all these videos to empower these champions if I need them now, right? So, so far we have six champions empowered, but I have a ton more champions I can empower. I always have, and it's about time that I did that. So we're going to be empowering these champions really fast and seeing just exactly where they, they fall, where they uh, may be at in this game. So at the moment, we have a lot of champions to empower. We've only empowered the six you currently see, but we're going to go over those champions in the guardian ring real quick and see just exactly what we can do first let's check out the faction guardians and see we got 10 10 in a lot of them barbarians orcs ogren tribes and i believe civil watchers the only one who needs some like more champions in them for the most part we're 10 10 for the rest all the champions you see here that do not have the yellow definitely be empowered now like my septimus here i got two septimuses level 60 most definitely, we're not taking the 60 and putting it into the other 60. So they can stay, you know, in the faction guardians. We have this one leftover one here right now. And we can put that in there and get the plus two. We're going to be doing stuff like that. Let's take a look at this first. to See who's who and what's what before we start empowering champions. Because some of these champions are actually used to empower other champions. Now, we have a dupe, Little Miss Annie, for example, that could go into Urost or into Little Miss Annie. Same thing with Robar here and Gomlock. We're going to take a look at these champions and figure out what is their best use. Do we need a plus one Ramantu or do we need a plus one Chogger? You know what I'm saying? We're going to have to make some of those decisions. Now, same thing with uh, Ronda and Cillian or Chilean, however you pronounce that. Here, we got a lot of champions we can uh, empower. And we're going to take a look at those right now. So, first and foremost, let's start with my boy Septimus. Okay. I'm going to grab the Septimus right here. Now, I'm only going to empower champions that are level 50 and fully ascended. Okay, if they're not that, we're not doing it. Okay, the plus 2 is going to give us plus 10% HP, attack, defense, plus 10 speed, plus 10 resistance, plus 10 accuracy. Looking really good here. Go ahead and do that. All right, Septimus taken care of. Okay, next up on the list... We're going to have to decide what we want to do with Cardiel here. Are we going to be doing two Cardiels or a plus one Cardiel? For that one, maybe we'll leave that one for the comment section. See what people think about that one. We'll get back to that one later. Because that one, you know, it could go either way. I got a couple champions where it can go either way, for sure. UDK here, definitely want to empower him later. But for now, we'll keep him where he's at. We have uh, Samar, Jim Cursed. We'll leave him. Necrit is going to be a very interesting uh, decision to make here. So do I plus one the Necrit, or do I just leave him alone and make two? We need two. Maybe uh, three versus three arena. You can make a case for it. Honestly, though, I think we're just going to empower the Necrit. Let's do it. We get plus 10 to these stats, plus 15 accuracy and resistance. It's looking good. I love Necrit. He's one of my favorite champs in the entire game. Not feeling bad about this one at all. All right, Necrit plus one, let's go. Next up on the list, see this uh, Elva Autumnborn? Definitely want to empower her later. We need more faction guardians for the Civil Watchers first. But also, before I would do that, level 50, Ascended. She's not, we're not ready to go. Same thing with Wither here, but look who's up. We got Hefrak. So Hefrak looks good to go. Let's go ahead and use the second Hefrak. There we go, plus one Hefrak. Let's do it. Hefrak is done. 
All right, they got two Staltus. We're going to leave Staltus alone. How about Rodos? Rodos, most definitely doing Rodos. He's a stat hog. We like the stats. Here we go. Plus one Rodos. Not waiting for the Rodos video. All right, we got Santa Claus here. What do we do with Santa? We got two of them, plus two of them. Why not? Let's do it. Here we go. 20% to these stats, plus 10 speed, plus 25 resistance and accuracy. Santa's a plus two. And we haven't even bought Santa from the token trader yet. We still can do more with these guys. Fushan, might even like uh, definitely consider this Fushan here. All right, back to empowerment. Got plus two Santa. Now we got right here, the option to get a plus two Angar. I would most definitely consider that, except for the fact my orcs are not even close to done. So again, we'd have to lose some stats here. Let's go ahead and keep it for now, temporarily. Then we'll do uh, Angar plus two later. For now, we have Angar plus one. Here we go. Let's do it. The angry orc is now angrier. All right, we got Kale, but he's kind of close to being leveled up, but not really. Move on to Marinix. I really like Marinix. She got the Hex, AoE, and she has decreased down on the same exact attack. That's really nice. Take a little bit of extra speed. We'll take a little bit of extra attack and a little bit of extra accuracy. Very nice champion. Definitely want to empower. Plus two Marinix, here we come. All right, there we go. All right, we got Mighty Echo up next. Most definitely a champ to plus one. I want to definitely plus one Mighty Echo. Dunzo. Plus one Echo, welcome to the account. All right, next up, do we need two Necmothars? A lot of people would say yes. A lot of people would build two for the Hydra. Me? Nope. Plus one Necmo, let's go. There we go, let's do it. Not feeling bad about it at all. No buyer's remorse. Good to go. All right, now, interestingly enough, we're probably going to keep these Cavalaxes and maybe even, you know, keep them at level 50 uh, for now. But uh, Gentoro here, we are definitely going to level up Gentoro once we get these ascended. So we need some ascensions and we're good to go on Gentoro. I like that one because Gentoro could definitely do more for the clan boss. And I'm sure he's going to be great in Centranos when we start using him. I do have him in my Faction Guardian or Faction Crips team. I'm not sure if I took him out or not. He was most definitely in it from the beginning as a major uh, helper. But he, since then, he might have been taken out. So, you know, if he is still there, maybe it improves my time by like a, a second or two. He's more powerful. We'll see. The one I'm really interested in doing right now is going to be Inithwi. So we got this one. I'm going to do the plus two for now. And we have the plus three on the way. So let's go ahead and get the plus two down. He's somebody I really like. The, the additional speed and attack is going to be really nice. He's kind of squishy. So the defense helps and the HPs help. Inithwi is a great champion to have. All right, like I said, figure out what we're going to do with Chagger here. Probably going to do Ramantu, to be honest. All right, back down to the bottom. We got two true ass. Moment, he's uh, holding down the Faction Guardians. We'll leave him where he's at. All right, now we got Ronda. We have a decision to make. We do Chilean or we do Ronda? I'm going to do Ronda. Ronda plus one, here we go. There we go. Let's do it. Not feeling bad about that at all. Feeling quite good about it. Next up, Pytheon. Let's go. My arena champs. I love the plus one, plus two in power, whatever. Doesn't matter what level. I want to get them all plus four, right? Pytheon plus one. Let's go. Next up on the list, Astrolith. We can most definitely do that later. Islin. I just got the Islin. I like Stratagos Islin, man. He's really good. He's a nice healer. Very underrated. So once we get the, 
the masteries, not masteries, my bad, the ascensions in them, the levels, plus one to him too. All right, how long have we been sitting on these um, hegemons here for? All right, let's go ahead and empower the plus one. I mean, the number one, not, not the plus one, but the number one instead of the number two. All right, here we go. Plus two hegemon. Nice stat boost. Let's go. We now have a plus two hegemon. All right. Probably not the most ideal situation, but I c it can definitely work at times. All right. Siffy plus one Siffy. I'm not even going to hesitate and think about it. I know a lot of people would say, hey, build the second Siffy. Build the second Siffy. Make her, uh, you know, Hydra champ. Use her somewhere. Maybe a second uh, three versus three arena champ. But no, I need a stronger Siffy. Let's go. Here we go. Give me some accuracy. Give me some resistance. The next time we get another one, give me some speed. All right, plus one Siffy, not feeling bad about it. All right, Kaimar, we got two of them. Ooh. So I like the Ghostborn right here. Look at this. Eventually, we got to pull him out of the Faction Guardians and give him the plus four. Like, he deserves the plus four. He's that good. But for now, I don't got the uh, Ascensions in him. We do got him level 50, but not quite Ascended. Uh, this is the only one we do. It's like a plus one. Let's go ahead and wait for the plus four. So we'll do that guy later. Right, we got Molly. It's probably a pretty good one to do too, but the Faction Guardians. All right, Rio. Rio. I do not feel bad about doing a plus two Rio. We get that plus 10 speed, accuracy, resistance. Like she's so good in so many different areas, especially for like high-end dungeons. So like... Sand, uh, Devils, uh, Shogun, like, she can do some, you know, some work. So definitely feel good about this one. Plus two Rio. All righty. Yeah, I'm definitely going to do Blood Gorged when I get the opportunity. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. This Var will take. Nogdar, I don't got no Nogdars. All right, Uros takes the Little Masani. Like I said, probably going to put the Little Masani into um, Little Masani. Got a Brachus here. That's going to be a plus two Brachus later. I like that. Um, to be honest, Brachus is kind of like, he's kind of weak. But like, he can use his plus 10 HPs and plus 10 defense percentage. Use that quite a bit. And uh, he's no slouch with the, the attack, so you know, more attack is even better. I like the plus two, but I might consider actually building two Braxes. I'll have to think about that. Like, where do we use him in Centronos? Like, I'll have to think about that. He's definitely in some Soul Cross rooms. I remember him going in, I think it was uh, like room four right off the start. Something like that. Room three, room four. One of the early ones. Had Basilisk. All right, we got Borgar here. We're going to leave Borgar for the Faction Guardians. All right, Helior. Interesting. Helior. You know, I've not used Helior. So, I mean, like, maybe I could uh, turn these into some token trader and bind those two. I'll have to consider that one. You guys leave a comment in the comment section below if that's a good idea or not. You guys think that'd be a good idea? I'm not so sure. I'm not sold on it. But, I, you know, I could definitely use some champions to uh, kick to the curb. Now, Fushan, such a good champion. You could definitely use two Fushans, but a plus one Fushan is kind of alluring. I don't know about that one. You guys, let me know what you think about that one, too. Fushan plus one or not. All right, Gomlock needs the Robar. Hmm. I'm probably going to definitely do Gomlock here. Gomlock, I thought, is a very underrated champion. Like, this guy's got the decreased defense in the weekend on the A3. Very, very nice. Got a pretty nice A2. Got a lot going for him, to be honest. Got a lot going for him. But once we get rid of this and get some more orcs, I think uh, Gomlock's getting a plus one. All right. Uh, Cupidus is stuck there. 
Not ready with uh, Cleopteryx. Need more Chogger. Oh, here we go. Plus two Valkyrie. Plus two Valkyrie. Yeah, she's uh, built for speed in the arena, so we'll take that plus 10 speed for sure. Can always use a little bit of accuracy for that decreased turn meter on the A1. More defense. Love to see it. Let's go. All right, plus two Valkyrie. All right, looks like Yoshi's not ready. Got Ninja here. Searsha. Another one I could probably unbind. All right. Um, I see the Roxams here. Kind of excited to level up that guy and try him out. All right, let's go ahead and do Ray next. Got one here. We'll get the plus two later on once we get a replacement Dark Elf. Take the plus one for now. We definitely are going to start using her in some... Um, Cross rooms. Let's do that. All right, let's see who Vassal takes. Oh, Drekstar, okay. So I might actually consider uh, dropping these two Drekstars here on Vassal and get the plus two. So the bad part about Vassal, I guess, is that he seems to go very well with Kandrophon, and you need uh, two Demon Spawns besides Kandrophon. Sorry, besides him, Candorphon counts as one. And another pair for Candorphon is really good as Duchess. And, I mean, unfortunately for me, I only have Candorphon. I don't have Duchess. So having Vassal and Candorphon, kind of missing one of the key components there, to get the passive to be really good. Which uh, basically just improves Candorphon's crit damage. All right. Um, let's see if we've got any more to do. Okay, we got uh, Lord Chamfort here. Let's go ahead and do the Lord Chamfort. Plus one Lord Chamfort. All right. All right, we're getting down to the bottom here. Getting down to the bottom. Okay, so we have Lissandra. Missing Ascensions, but uh, she's going to be a plus two soon. I like that. Like we need to level up a Norog. Got a couple Manias. Elagias. Look at this. Pixneal. Oh, for Christmas. The plus four is ready. Oof. Maybe she's an unbind champion. Maybe that's a token trader. Alright, let's go see who Basatha takes. Oh, Roxums. Interesting. All right, that's going to be uh, one to think about. Either do Roxum or do Basatha. All right, I'm taking one last look. I don't think we have any more champs to do without making some more decisions. The we don't have a Bystaphus. Take one more look. We have no Noble, no more Vizix. Don't have a blind seer. I wish we did. I like Mithral a lot. Oh, look at this. Maybe Elinarls are for Alexander the Sharpshooter. Interesting. Maybe Borgars are for Granjars. I'll have to think about that. I need Cronum. I'll definitely put my Altons in the Cronum. Ah, Ruark is Searsha. Okay, so I think that uh, Cronum is going to be Alton. I do Borgar and the Granjar. And Eleanor's into Alexander. Let's take a look at them. All right, take a look at those dwarfs right there. I'm like, hmm. Are they ready to go or not? All right, so Eleanor's, we got one, two, three. Wow, three. Then two Borgars. Nice. Couple Direct Stars. One Alten. I thought it was more than one.
Yeah, we're looking good. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the account now because we started off with uh, six empowered champions. Let's see where my true account is actually at. We've definitely got uh, more. We got, looks like 12, 18, 24, 24. We got several plus ones now. Bunch of plus twos. And my highest is a plus three. So it looks like we're going to have maybe one or two plus fours pretty soon. And then uh, like in a three, we can get that plus three. We're looking real good. All right, before I wrap this video up, let's take a look at the whole account real fast. This is every one of my champions. We got all the ascensions, all of the blessings, all of the everything, the plus ones. You guys want to take a look at the account a little bit like closer you can like pause the video or something I don't know exactly maybe i have to like take track count of uh how many champions i got how many legos how many voids how many plus ones stuff like that getting down to some of the actual epics now been pretty uh fairly lucky with the blessings for the epics What's ironic is like I don't ever get anything good from those Eternals. It's almost all from mortals and immortals. Got a couple of uh, Shamels here. So very soon I'm going to be leveling up Growhack here. Really debating two Fushans. I tried to get Blizzar in during the champ training, but it ended too soon during CVC. I'd like about 10 minutes like between the two overlap. And I just wasn't able to uh, hit the button fast enough to get him leveled up between leveling up everything else. So he's sitting until next time. But yeah, we're going to have to get up a couple of these champions right here, get them ascended so we can uh, power some more champions here. So here's the account. That's what we were working with. Go ahead and take a look at the vault real quick. Now I got a pretty deep vault, 323 out of 400. Lots of 60s. Lots of level 50s. Like I said, you could pause the video. Want to check out some specific champs. Lots of uh, rares here. Lots of uncommons. Lots of commons. <laughs> Got a couple of DKs here. A couple of death hounds. Hell hounds. So we are most definitely ready to level up some more champs here too. So Now if you guys ever want to see a specific champion in a video, you guys want to make a, like a video request, Go ahead and leave like a comment on any of my videos. I'll see it. And uh, I'll try to get a video out for that champion ASAP. Got so many champions. I got pretty much all of them besides the mythicals. So there's like a few legendaries that still evade me, like a warlord. Uh, but uh, for the most part, you know, I got pretty much everything. And, f and mostly leveled up as well. Look how many 50s I got here. A lot are ready to go up to 60. Reserve Vault. That's why I got some of these uh, empowerment guys waiting in the, the wings here. And then uh, usually I got champs that I'm ready to level up. So I even got like empowerments waiting for the epics. If they ever launch epic empowerment, I got all the Shemales. I got the little kitty here. I got Skull Crown, Lure, like all the ones you would want. White uh, Dryad, Naya, uh, Demithas, Seers, um, Husks. Uh, <laughs> Magnar, you name it, I got it. I'm just waiting, so, you know, that's it. This is the vaults, the account. Still waiting to pull a couple more champions. You know, there's a, a few on the wish list. I need another Yumeko. I need a, a Warlord. So, um, you know, besides the, the mythicals, we have no mythicals in the account yet. So, still missing mythicals, but... Now, here's the account. I'm going to wrap this video up right there. Hopefully, you guys are off to a pretty good new year. Hopefully, your account is looking pretty stacked like mine is because Centrano's Soul Cross is some pretty hard content. It's looking mighty meaty. The deeper you get, the harder the stuff goes. I'm like trying to level up as much artifact sets as I can for these guys because what I'm really missing is like mostly the gear at this point. You know, I don't have all the gear leveled up for all these champions. It's just kind of a lot. But uh, we're working through the silver. We'll get it done. I'll start posting some results here soon. 
start posting some more videos of actually uh, going through Soul Cross, get some uh, strategies in there. You know, hopefully you guys enjoy these types of videos. If you guys do like these videos, please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys take it easy. Peace.